Okay, tubers, um, I'm going to show you how to do the carburetor now. Let's go over here. Here's the carb. First thing I want to do is actually take your fuel line off. That will do. You're scared of getting greasy. <laughs> Good luck trying not to be grease. greasy. Um, it actually helps if you have pliers to do this, but I don't because somebody stole my Leatherman. Um, oh, cool. No, I broke. Cool. And I just kind of twist this gently so you can get it off. Okay, I'm back. Um, this part kind of twists around like that. I want to twist it up so there's some room. Put the pliers on there. Kind of squeeze down gently, not too hard. I'm gonna get these hose clamps off first. This hose clamp broke, so kind of squeeze. You twist, and you'll hear kind of a pop. And then you take it, and while twisting, you pull. Let me do that behind the camera. Got a little trick to it. I just twist and pull. Except this one's being really stubborn. So. There we go. Got it off. Okay, I already loosen. Don't lose these. They're kind of a skinny looking thing. Don't lose those. And don't take them off. Try to keep them on. If you can keep them on, all the better. Um, I already loosened this bolt up, so I can just undo that. I'm gonna pull this off, and see that's pretty darn clean. This is not too bad of a lawnmower. Actually, the guy that wanted me to repair this called me back and said, "Go ahead and keep it. I'm just gonna get a new one." Not because the repairs were expensive. I, I'm the cheapest guy here. I don't charge the world for it, but each one and a new one. So here's some Super Tech carburetor cleaner, which is actually the best carburetor cleaner I've found so far. Get it at Walmart. Um, let me just kind of spray it out in here. Hmm. And it's very strong. Um, the fumes coming off is actually heavier than air, so the fumes usually fall to the floor. Um, I just pulled a pin out of here. Now that's going to release these two floater in the pin. You're going to want to spray it out in there. Stuff doesn't feel very great on uh, open cuts now. Spray it out until it looks clean to you. Um, don't get it on primer bubbles because it'll actually eat through the rubber. Um, it'll take paint off cars. <laughs> so be very careful with it. It'll take paint off really anything, especially if the paint is cheap. Um, put this pin back in here now. Okay, well, back YouTubers. Just put the floater back on. Um, make sure the pin's sitting in there straight. Make sure the the seal around the edges um, isn't cracked at all. Um, I I have dirty fingers, so I'm gonna have to spray this floater off again. See, clean now. Make sure that floater's down like that. We put that off in the distance. Here's your bowl. It's supposed to Hold your fuel. Spray that out. It's clean. Now, if you have rust problems, you can actually take a um, steel brush to most of these parts. Um, there's this. You want to just spray the whole bolt. You don't want to only do half it. You want to do everything, like the whole, the bolt on the outside, everything. Just spray that all off.
that's it, and that's clean. Um, I'm really wishing I had a rag. I'm gonna go grab a rag, YouTubers, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, YouTubers. Um, got my trusty rag here. Looks kind of clean because I washed it. I'm gonna wipe my hands off now, so I can work a little cleaner. Now we're gonna reassemble the carburetor. Put this bowl. Some there's a funny shape in the bottom of this bowl. That um, actually goes where this flo this pin is. There's a pin right here. And the floater falls this way. So you want this part over that pin. That's how I've always put carburetors back together. Don't know if that's the way they come apart, but that's the way I put them back together and it works absolutely just fine. So I'm gonna screw this back on here. I put take this. Not too tight, just enough to where it it's tight. Not too tight. If you get it too tight then it can break. So that's all clean. Cool. And there's a quick another little trick you can do. Um, you're actually supposed to do this with the bowl open, but you can spray it into the, the intake the, where the fuel goes in. It kind of helps keep everything clean. Um, another trick, the hole where the air goes in, spray it around in there. Get all that old fuel out there's sometimes residue, if, even it, especially if it's really old fuel. So we're going to let that kind of sit there and dry for a little bit. Don't really need it to let it dry, but I'm going to do it anyways. Here's the fuel line that it came with. Just spray that out inside there. You kind of tip it up so the fuel, or the spray doesn't get out. In there. Hug up both ends with your fingers and shake it. Back and forth, back and forth, and then you can beat it out. That cleans your fuel lines out really well. Um, now we're going to reassemble it. Reassemble a lot more.